This is episode 31 of the A Free Spirit Life Podcast. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Can I just say how awesome you are and that I love you? <laughs> I'm so happy that you are hearing these words today because you're awesome. I'm Shannon. I am the host of A Free Spirit Life and a holistic life and spiritual coach. And in today's episode, we are retreating. We're going to talk about retreats because you know what? I love them. And I just got back from an amazing four-day, three-night retreat in the woods with some amazing women. And I'm just still on a high. I'm still just on this natural high that happens when we step outside of our everyday life and reset. And that's truly what it felt like going on retreat. Before I share about the retreat and why you must make space in your life for retreating, I want to remind you that I have a free Spirit Life Community Facebook group. You can look us up in groups, a free spirit life community. Join us there and we'll be sharing in the conversation. Also, I have an announcement. I have been wanting to do this for quite some time, but after being on retreat this past week, I finally took the plunge. I am going to be offering an online wellness retreat. Now, how in the world can you do an online retreat? Well, you can go to my website, a freespiritlife.com forward slash online retreats, and you will find there the information about my upcoming one, the weekend of November 9th, 2018. So what we're doing is you will get to create a mini retreat for the weekend in your home. And if you're thinking, Shannon, you're nuts. I live in a zoo. There's no way I can retreat in my home. I get it. I have three boys. I have a puppy. I have chaos all around me. However, I do know that there are ways to carve space for a little more self and soul care. And I'm going to guide you on how to do that. So when you sign up for this online wellness retreat, you will receive an information email to help you prepare for it. It's very simple, but it gives you some instruction on how to carve out the space, what you'll need to prepare, and also some recipe ideas, just things that you can do to start getting your food ready because this weekend is about self-nourishment. It's about self-love and care. And so you want to prepare and do things that really pamper you. And so what you'll do, it doesn't matter what time zone you live in because everything's pre-recorded. However, I will be doing the retreat with you and I will be there live for our live chats in our private group. So we will kick off Friday, November 9th with uh, an opening circle. I'll have a video for you to watch. I'll be there with a live chat and um, guided meditation for peaceful sleep. And then we'll retreat. The next day, I'll give you some guidance. I'll give you some journal prompts, some little art activities, and just space to carve out your own special retreat in your home. And then we will have our closing circle on Sunday morning. Now, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I really want to do this, but this weekend I cannot, I'm too busy. Well, first, look and see what you can reschedule. But if you simply cannot, I understand things happen. You can still sign up for the retreat and you'll have all the information and you'll be part of our retreat circle online for one month. So you could schedule it the following week or the week after. It doesn't matter as long as you make the space in your life that best suits you. So really consider doing this because as you listen in the show, the power of women coming together in circle and the power of you carving space in your life for stillness, for solitude, 
for renewal, it is invaluable. And if I had you talk to every single woman who retreated with me last weekend, I guarantee you will hear about life changing stories. You will hear about even the power of a couple of hours of quiet, of nothing scheduled, of eating a good meal mindfully, slowly, of having free time to take a hot bath or to go on a walk or to do yoga or to listen to a guided meditation. It's life changing and you need it. I know you do because you crave heart connection. You are tired of being tired. You, like all of us, are probably racing through your day, checking off your to-do list, feeling this um, restlessness or this unsettled feeling or just getting really sick of the news and the busyness of our life. And so if you don't carve out the space for stillness, for rest, for renewal, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it for you? No one. This is about you being a self-advocate, about you owning your power, about you stating what you need, even if the people in your life don't get it, even if you're a little shy or embarrassed to admit it, Even if you might even feel a little guilt or selfishness rise up in you when you think, what? Take a whole weekend for myself? Yes. 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 And when you think about it, of all the weekends you give to everyone else, one weekend to renew will be a gift that will have a ripple effect in your life. It just does. It's just the magic of retreats. So let me share with you a little bit about what I've learned recently going on retreats, taking time for stillness. Now, not just the four-day retreat I was talking about, but getting better at carving out time in my life for like a hot bath at the end of the night or 30 minutes to journal or doing my guided meditation during my evening ritual. When I consciously make choices in my life to take better care of myself, to take better care of my mind, my spirit, and my body, I am a happier person. I am probably a lot more enjoyable to be around. I am less irritable or snappy with my kids. It doesn't mean that goes away. I'm human. I get overwhelmed by the noise and the mess and the chaos and the schedules. But one of the greatest gifts of taking time for stillness or solitude or rest and renewal to retreat, these little mini moments throughout the day and in my life, I feel more deeply connected to my authentic self. I feel like I know myself better. I feel like when something is feeling confusing, uh, when I've lost my way, when I feel directionless, when I feel uh, old emotions stirring in me, when I feel like it's time to let go, I can better process what's going on in the space, in the stillness. That's when my mind can quiet and stop controlling the show. And when that happens, I can hear the messages in my heart. I can recognize the longing in my soul. I can be connected to my intuition and to the source that is greater than me. This past retreat, what I really took away from it is my longing to do less, my longing to have a slower pace in my day-to-day life, my longing to be more mindful and present with my family, in my work, to do less. 
and to stop letting my ego or my mind plan my life. And so to take a step back, to connect to whatever you call it, whether it's God, heart, energy, universal power, source, love, spirit, what I feel is that I can recognize fully now in my life is that I am not alone, that I have spirit guides or angels or source there um, who've got my back. (laughs) And I don't have to push so hard to make my life happen. Instead, retreating for me reminds me that if I can practice patience and choose love over fear, that I can trust the enfoldment and the timing of my life. It doesn't mean that I sit back and I don't have goals and I don't have a plan. It simply means that I'm more mindful in my actions and that I make sure that I'm aligned and connected to my heart, to my soul, to that more um, receptive, open energy. Because I really see now that the plan is happening. My life is unfolding just as your life is unfolding. Wherever you are in this moment, hearing these words, this is right where you need to be in your life. This is how your life is unfolding. And rather than wishing it away or resisting it or kicking and screaming or just wasting the days wishing that it wasn't this way, could we in this moment just for today accept it? Could we in this moment just for today choose love? Could we in this moment just for today open, trust, and receive? That is where I'm at in my path is this practice of taking action, but also trusting, being open, wanting to go a certain way, but also seeing where the path is unfolding. If I don't take time to retreat and connect to my true authentic self, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just lost. I'm a ping pong ball being hit one direction and then hit the next, right? Don't you feel that way when you wake up and you're constantly rushing through your life and then you crash and repeat and crash and repeat? My hope for you is that if you are listening to this and this resonates with you, this this inner nudging, this desire to slow down, to make space, to carve out time, to just rest, to connect with yourself, that you will listen to that desire and that you will follow your instincts. When's the last time that you asked yourself, how am I really feeling right now? And how are the things that I'm doing right now working? What's working in my life right now? What needs my attention? I think a lot of times we focus on what isn't working and the problem and we just continually repeat that cycle and you know what we focus on grows. So we're just focusing on more and more and more problems until we feel like the problems are piled up. But how often do we really take the time to ask ourselves, what is working in my life right now? And to then write about it, to get all those thoughts out of your head and actually spill them out into a journal. How often do we carve out space in our schedule and actually write it on the calendar for nothing, to do nothing? Can you imagine? Can you imagine just carving out 20 minutes every day for nothing? How freeing it would feel to know that that mini gift, that mini retreat was a part of your daily life so that you could sip a cup of tea and just think so that you could close your eyes, connect to your breath and feel grateful for your breath 
to feel grateful to be alive, even in the challenge, even in the storm, right? Just because we retreat does not mean we're escaping from life. It does not mean that we are escaping from problems or challenges or chaos or clutter. But what it does is it helps us step into that realm, that place that is already here, that inner peace that is with you, but it's really hard to feel and connect to when we're rushing all the time. Creating a mini retreat in your day-to-day life or going on a retreat or carving out a weekend retreat allows you the opportunity to listen, to listen to your heart's desire, to listen to where you're being guided next, to know with certainty what path you're ready to follow, even if it's scary, because you know the intention is love. You know that it's where you need to go because you've taken the time to listen to connect, to feel, to sense, to journal, to reset, to renew. My hope for you today is to walk forward with your hand on your heart right now, feeling blessed for this breath, feeling the courage, the confidence, and the clarity that you need to walk forward today to remember how awesome you are, to remember that you and your gifts are so needed in this world. And we don't need your self-doubt or your regrets from the past or your feelings of guilt, thinkings that you need to put your needs last, all of that. We don't need that to create a dam to the energy and to the love and care that you want to share in this lifetime. We want to remove the self-doubt. We want to let go of the old baggage. We want to make space for new beginnings. And we can do that when we take better care of our mind, our body, our spirit. We can do that when we retreat to stillness because it's in the space, it's in the quiet, it's in the solitude where you know. You don't have to let your mind figure it out in the space. Your heart can be heard. You can listen. You can feel. And you can remember what you already know that is deep within you. My hope for you today is to carve out some space, stillness, five minutes today to just sit, to breathe, to be. Be well, my friends. Thank you for listening. I have so much more to share about retreats, but until then, I just invite you to think about the word retreat. What does that mean for you? For many of you, we are entering autumn, and it is a time to let go. It's a time to make space. It's a time to prepare to go within. And so allow yourself to enjoy the seasonal changes that you're experiencing, to remember that we are all connected, and that you deserve to feel good. You deserve space and stillness. If you'd like, join me for my online wellness retreat. It's called Embracing Change. If you're ready for change, join me. Go to afreespiritlife.com forward slash online retreats and sign up today. I will see you next time on the podcast. Bye.